bless them and always be with them and help them every time. Amen. Jealousy protects his people from danger and the foolishness of idolatry. Knowledge. God knows everything. He knows what will happen before it happens. Praise. The meaning to praise because it is fair. God is perfect, holy and beautiful. He loves us so much that he gave us his only son to die for us. His will! It will be fulfilled because he loves us. Hadansa, yeah. what would you do if someone that's sick comes to you for healing? We give them medicine and pray. How can I go to read this question for you? What would you do if an ill person comes to you and asks for healing? I would tell God to bless them and give them Bye. Nicholas, what would you do if an ill person comes to you and asks for healing? I'll pray for them and teach them about the Lord and how to do, do miraculous things. Have faith in God because he is the only one who can heal everyone. One day at three o'clock in the afternoon, Peter and John were on their way into the temple for a prayer meeting. At the same time, there was a man crippled from birth being carried up. Every day he was set down at the temple gate, the one named Beautiful, to beg from those going into the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to enter the temple, he asked for a handout. Peter, with John at his side, looked him straight in the eyes and said, Look here. He looked up, expecting to get something from them. Please, may I have a nickel? I don't have one. Peter said, I don't have a nickel to my name, but what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. He grabbed him by the right hand and pulled him up. In an instant, his feet and ankles became firm. He jumped to his feet and walked. The man went into the temple with them, walking back and forth, dancing and praising God. Everybody there saw him walking around and praising God. They recognized him as the one who sat begging at the temple's gate, beautiful, and rubbed their eyes, astonished, scarcely believing what they were seeing. Hello friends, we had a great teaching today. 
we can see three main things in this story. Number one, we don't always need to have lots of money to help others. Number two, we need to understand that God still makes wonders through his children. Number three, never stop praying for others, for other people in need. God bless you. Acts 3 6. But Peter said, I have no silver and gold, but what I do have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Hello friends, my name is Benji and my name is Catherine. Today we're going to teach you how to make some pancakes. The ingredients you need is self-raising flour, some white sugar, some vanilla extract, and today we're using five eggs, and that is for six people. And for when we finish the pancakes, you're gonna need some syrup, or some chocolate syrup, and some strawberries, and also butter for when you are cooking them. Okay, so now you're gonna separate in one of them, you need to put the egg whites, and in the other one, you need to put the egg yolks. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So you just carefully make sure you don't get this part inside it, because we're going to put that in a separate bowl, which is that one. And then do that with all the other ones. Then 
you're gonna whisk it with this. It should look a bit like this. If you don't have one of these, you can use a fork and just whisk it. And to check if it's done, just put it over something there. And if it doesn't fall, and if it's firm, then it is done. Now, we're going to be adding this bit by bit onto here with a spatula. And you're not gonna whisk like that, you're going to fold. So while you put it in, you fold. Because if we go like that, then it will stop the pancake from being thick, and we want thick pancakes. Okay, so your consistency should be like this. So it may still have some little parts in it, but just leave it. Because if you carry on folding, then it's not going to come out thick, the pancakes. So we're going to do one more test drive before we start making them. So Dip your finger in. Mmm, very good. Okay, so we move on to here where we get our butter and our pan. Make sure your pan has a lid so when you can cover it when they're making it. But if you don't have a lid, it's okay. You can put a plate over it or you can just leave it. But if you do have a lid, use the lid. If you have one of these, it would be easier. So you just and then put on the pan while you make each pancake. Yep. So we wait for that to heat up a little bit, just a little bit, because it shouldn't be that hot. Um, it needs to be on the smallest flame you have. So once that is, to get a scoop, like the ones that you use to make soup when you get soup, just get a scoop like this. So you can scoop it and put it in. You want to do it in first, I think. Of course! It should be thick like that. This package looks good. As you can see, it's very thick consistency and that's how we want our pancakes to be. Mm -hmm. So you leave it on one side for like three to four minutes. Once you see that it starts getting bubbles and little pokey holes, that's when it's time to turn it around. So, wait. While you're waiting, make sure to, the fruits that you choose, you can choose on any fruits to put it. At the end, you can put banana, apple, strawberries, grapes, anything. Today, we're gonna to use strawberries and grapes and we wash them. So make sure you wash your fruit. So now when the pancake looks like this, it should have holes in it and it should look like this. You will need an adult for this part. That looks good. You're gonna wait in a bit longer to like five, six minutes so it can have more color. But yeah, that's like, okay, now that four to five minutes have passed, you take it out and you get a plate. And you so you can put your favorite syrup if you want nice chocolate. We're gonna decorate them first. So I'm gonna put strawberries on mine. The taste test. One, two, three, good. Mmm! Excellent. It's excellent. This is what was missing. the CCL kit. Hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button and subscribe and hit that little bell and we will see you in the next Sunday. I hope you liked your pancakes. Bye, see you next week. I invite you to come into my heart to take care of me and that I will always be your son or daughter. Write my name in the book of life and never erase it. Lord, guide my thoughts.
take care of my heart and guide my steps because I am the child of God and I am light in the middle of darkness. Amen. Oh, Sunday school is finished. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. God bless you. Bye. Bye.